You guys should have just seen this guy trying to get into the shop. Could not get the key in the door and it is freaking freezing outside. What has two thumbs and can't get into the shop when it's 20 degrees outside? This guy right here. This guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. My name is Eric Schneider and tonight we're going to be making a custom repair tool. I'm sure there's several of you who are asking yourselves, why doesn't Eric ever make any content about the golf course and his life at the golf course? That content is coming. In Utah right now, we have snow. So the stuff that's going on during the day at the golf course is kind of mundane. It's boring. We're doing a lot of accounting book type stuff. We're not really out working on the golf course or working with the business in full swing. So that will be coming in spring, which is just around the corner. Right now there's snow on the ground. Let me show you really quick. That white garbage right there. So we are indoors. I usually work at night. A lot of times making putters is my hobby. It's not my full time business. Running the golf course is what I do full time. Making putters and repair tools and stuff like that is a hobby for me. So until this scale is a little bigger or something like that, it will remain a hobby. That being said, a lot of times when I'm doing this, it's at night. So if it looks like it's at night, it is. Tonight, I want to do something that's kind of a personal project. So I've got these black Cerakoted repair tools. They're just blank right now. And they look cool blank. They look pretty nice. You could game this and your friends would think it was cool, but we're gonna make it cooler than this. We're gonna take this side and I wanna honeycomb it. I've seen a lot of really cool things happening with substrates and epoxies and inlays in other parts of different industries, you know, especially in like jewelry and knife making. And I want to apply some of those techniques to, whoops. I wanna apply some of those techniques to my repair tools. So different kinds of inlays, um, different substrates, you know, I don't know, maybe wood, maybe pebbles of some kind, maybe like camel fur, whatever's cool, you know, but different substrates to go into my repair tools. So that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. We're going to be making a honeycomb pattern on one side of the repair tool, and we're going to make the checkerboard pattern on the other side of the repair tool. Now the checkerboard pattern looks pretty cool straight up. People, it's been my best seller on the repair tools. So we're just going to do that, see how it looks. The honeycomb on this other side is for inlay stuff. So I'm gonna make it a hair deeper. Usually I engrave at about 10 thou deep. On these I'm probably gonna go 20 or 30 thou just so that I could get material down into those. So that's what's going on tonight. This is kind of a personal project, but it should be fun. Let's get started. Okay, so a lot of the engraving that I do and all the engraving that we're gonna be doing tonight is going to be here on the Tormach. Now, when I was buying a Tormach, I thought for the longest time that I wanted an 1100, but I'm so glad I didn't get an 1100 because back in the day, the 1100 only had like a 6,000 RPM spindle and it might still only have that high of a spindle. I didn't know back then that engraving was going to require so much spindle speed and I'm so glad I got the 770. This guy can run forever, not get hot, not get overworked and it runs on 110, so it's not using hardly any electricity. And that's one thing that I really love about the 770, which makes me super glad that I ended up getting it. So, we need to take these car smart soft jaws out. We need to put in the soft jaws for the repair tools, and then we're gonna start engraving. soft jaws in you want to make sure that these surfaces here and these clamps up here don't have any chips in them because if they do it's enough to throw you off a couple thou 10 thou if it's a fat chip in here so make sure that your car smart jaws are clean before you put your soft jaws in
I think it's all touched off already and the length is set. Go ahead and run this program. Checkerboards. So I don't know if any of you have this disorder, but I have this crazy thing where I forget where I leave my laptop charger and my laptop is now dead and it's like 11 o'clock at night. Maybe not 11, let's see what time it is. Oh, 10, 11. I think it's over at the golf course. So I've gotta walk over there and grab the laptop charger. But it's a bummer because it is really late and it is freezing outside. We're gonna make the trek. Here we go. We're gonna go over to the golf course and we're gonna get the laptop charger so we can program this honeycomb. Spooky. Spooky. Just walking around the golf course. Here we are, late at night, freezing. This is the back side of the pro shop. We'll give you all a more in-depth tour when the weather's nicer. Here's the practice green. Push carts. And here we have cart barn. Here we are. There it is. Look at that right there. Would you look at that? You wait right there. I'm gonna open up Fusion, program some honeycombs, and we'll go finish this repair tour. Sit tight. That is a wrap. Thank you for being here this evening. Uh, we have our honeycomb divot repair tool here. Turned out really nice. Got our name engraved on the side. We've also got the waffle pattern on the back. It looks really cool in the light. I'm gonna take this inside and clean it up just a little bit. A couple things to look for on the radar. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna infill it with different types of stones, possibly different pigmentation, paint. There's just a million things that I wanna do with these repair tools, as well as offering a couple different shapes in the near future. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Get off your couch, get off of YouTube, go play some golf. I'll see you next time.